Hey guys, enter the stars. And now I know why God gave me my name. Because we've been talking a lot about the stars lately. We're going to do a little math test right now. This is simple. The sun is 93 million miles away. Let's round that up to 100 million. The nearest star after the sun is 4.24 light years. One light year is about 6 trillion miles. So you take 6 trillion miles divided by 100 million, you get 60,000. So one that's one light year, 60,000 times further from the sun. Times 4 because it's 4 light years. 60 times 4 is 240 thousand times further away than the sun and that's Proxima Centauri is the name of that star that is the next closest star after the sun now why are we doing this because we're gonna look at the sun against the night sky and we talked a little bit about driving a car through the mountains and the signs at the side of the road moving past us much faster than the mountains in the background. And some of you came back and said, well, yeah, we're talking about astronomical differences. But I just demonstrated to you how much closer the sun is to the Earth versus the nearest next star. All the other stars are just off the map. 240,000 times further is Proxima Centauri. So we're going to find Proxima Centauri in the sky. And it's over here. But you can bet that Proxima Centauri is moving at the same speed as all the other stars in the sky. We are at the equator here. And we're going to watch the sun against the backdrop of the sky as it travels up the horizon at the same exact speed as stars that are infinitely further away than it is. And the sun should have some kind of notable difference in the speed just as we would see when we pass a street sign and we're looking at the mountains in the background. Now this cannot be debunked you guys. As far as I can tell no one else is asking these questions. Because people just accept what they're told. Well it's time to not accept what we're told anymore. Why is the sun moving with the rest of the stars? Now I turn off the daylight feature because normally it would be daylight right now right? Because the sun's rising on this horizon. We're on the equator. This is uh, Kenya, Africa. Okay. And we're going to go over here in the west where the stars move perfectly up and down, right? This is what it does on the equator. And the stars are, are, are motionless against the backdrop of the sun. So you got to ask yourself, what's going on here? Why is this? Why isn't the sun gaining on some of these stars, out, outpacing them? And that's the question, and I've tried to explain it. Take care and be safe, you guys.